Okay, here we are. We're going to call this Thanksgiving at my house, but uh, hopefully we'll you know, get together over the weekend. But here we got 1500 mid war battle. I took an American tank company and I've got a bunch of Shermans, eight Shermans, and I got the Sergeant Reb Jackson in there. He really doesn't do very much, but I just had the extra points, so why not? And then I've got a uh, two N10s and three priests and limited P40 Warhawk air support. Stacy's going to stick with Grenadier Company. He's got uh, some little mortars in the headquarters. He's got two full platoons of Grenadiers, a full heavy machine gun, another platoon of the small mortars, uh, three pack 38s, uh, two Stugs, and then armored pioneers and priority stukas with cannons. Okay, here's the board that we're going to be using. Got a river going diagonally. Um, got a road going all the way around in a U shape, and then just interspersed houses and other stuff. So that is the board. Okay, here we are, turn one. I was deployed over here with one platoon, over here with the other platoon. I've got my objective here and here. Stacy's is on the bridge and behind that house. He set up a grenadier platoon by this one, grenadier by there, and put his mortars in between. I double timed on my first turn up here and double timed up here on my with the first platoon. So we're going bottom turn one. Okay, end of turn one is two grenadiers dug in. His mortars tried to range in on trained. And what'd you roll? A one? A one and a two. One and a two. A to one, a one and a one. All right, so three ones and a two to try to range in, so they couldn't even range in. He got his airplanes in, but uh, I intercepted with my guys. Best 130 points ever. And uh, so now we go to American turn two. turn two. I moved up, and like a dummy, I shot at his mortars. I guess that was part of your master plan to distract me with your mortars. I was able to, to hit him enough. They failed their check, ran off the board, but I couldn't assault because I shot at the wrong guy. So dummy move there. Good move here, assaulted, pushed him back and out of the house, so I'm on the verge of taking the objective. Um, but if he gets reserves behind me, that could be a real problem. So we're going to turn... Turn, turn, turn two. two. He brought in his planes. I shot with everybody and still can only knock out one plane, so he was able to kill a tank even with uh, rerolls. Uh, moved back, dug in there, did nothing with those guys. So going to... Top of turn Since three. I used anti-air, I had to back off here. Did not get my reserve, didn't yeah. go for air. Salted here, pushed them back out of the house. And now we go to bomb turn three. Go ahead and roll your reserve, because this is the game right here. Air first. Oh, okay, you doing air? Maybe. Right. I guess we'll find out later. Okay, the turn was much better than I thought it was. The air power came in here. I used all these guys for anti-aircraft and knocked both planes down. And then uh, his Stugs came in, hit once, and it rolled a six, so it bounced off my guy. He tried a Stormtrooper successfully, but bogged down one guy. And uh, these guys dug in. These guys totally dug in. Moved up, dug in. Uh, so going to top of turn four. Wow, a lot of stuff. Of course, these guys just repositioned themselves. I was able to move these guys over, take shots at the Stug. I thought I was being real smart here. I, I got him, which was the point. Then I assaulted with, with one guy from this platoon, pushed him off, got greedy, had the second command come down, tried to uh, push him off even more, missed his check. He missed his Panzernacker, but he got me with one of his regular guys. I rolled a one, bailed out, failed, you know, the, even though I had other tanks here, failed the um, motivation to counterattack, and they had to run away, so they ran out over here, and he just consolidated behind the building. And uh, that's the end of top of turn three. So this is how it stands. I got guys over here, guys over here. Didn't get reserves, didn't try to bring in my planes. And he's got one stoog there. That's probably going to take pot shots. But he's between a rock and a hard place. Oh, you get, uh, now you get two dice for your reserves. You don't get an automatic. Yeah, then I got to roll air first. All right, so we're going to bottom turn. All right, his stoog popped out, destroyed my tank, but he could not jump trooper back in. He moved his guys back so that he can get a uh, plane in, which destroyed Reb. But Reb got out and got into the command tank, and they held. Uh, so I still got two tanks over here. Um, these guys were successful digging in because they moved back a little bit. Those guys are still pinned down there, so they couldn't dig in. And um, so the, let's see what happens here. Uh, I, I don't know if I said turn three or turn four. So now we're going to turn five. 
So I'm going to get reserves. Up turn five, I failed six. This is like the worst die rolling game ever. Uh, failed six reserves, but thankfully that new rule came in that I can bring in my priests. Finally, um, I assaulted him here. Couldn't hit anybody, but he couldn't make his terror tank terror, so he ran off. And now he's pinned. Couldn't hit anybody over here, but he failed his tank terror. I mean, we just missed everything, right? I don't think we made one roll. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I rolled my planes, got it. He rolled his interception, got it. So I guess that's what sucked all the uh, the ability to, to actually make a roll in this turn. So now we go to bottom turn five. He will get at least one reserve, and you got, what? Three dice. How many reserves do you have? You have two more left. All right, here we go, bottom turn five. All right, maybe I'm saying it's a good game because I won, but here's what happened. He moved his, in, his engineers in, and because they're in vehicles, they're able to contest. Then his Stug shot, killed that guy. The other guy ran away, so I lost that platoon. And uh, his plane came in. He only had one. I missed. I rolled three ones for the uh, anti-air, but he missed, so it didn't matter. And then the all-important... Oh, and he couldn't unpin over there, so he couldn't... Well, he, he was already contesting. Unpinned over here, but failed his tank terror, so he could not get within the four inches necessary to keep the game going. So the game ends right there on bottom of turn five. I lost one platoon, so it was five to two. That was a really good game.